I'm gonna have to kill him because uh, such is life. Well, he died quick. Refined, calm. I, lower keeper, keeper, held our ring to light. The events which conspired at the beginning of the first stage. I alone uh, hath uncovered the mysteries that hath lain so shrouded in darkness for so many millennia. The evil that has engulfed our land for so many centuries, even during our times of prosperity. The threat lingers still deep within the dark corners of the world. Now we shall dwell, delve into the very heart of this evil. With long forgotten legends await our discovery. Let us start from the very beginning. Goodbye, lore keeper. Da, 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 da. Um, it's early morning on the first day of spring. Deep within the dark forest of Eterna, the former priestess Averin, la, I hope that's it, lives her life in solitude. Something feels different this morning. The birds sing no song, and the mist is so thick through the woods. Someone approaches. Dun dun dun. Looks like a, a meat salesman or a butcher. Tell us, how long has it been? Four solar cycles? What are you doing all the way out here? Cold as ever, Arv Averon. Can't an old friend come in for a visit? Friend? Is that what we are? Nevertheless, I think you know why I'm here, Everon. I'm sure you felt the quakes, seen the signs, the woodland creatures grow restless. It is time for you to stop hiding. The Hive Mother wishes for you to return. The people need you. The planet needs you. I lost my faith long ago, Talus. Mother put too much on my shoulders. Do you think that it was easy for me to exile myself from the colony? I'm not the one, Talus. If you'll just come, if you'll just come here uh, and see what Mother has to say, you'll have a change of heart. This is way bigger than any of us. Uh, did Mother send for me? Not exactly. Our people are suffering, Averon. The state of the council has run out of options. So now, even the council will turn to old prophecy and superstition. They didn't turn and flinch when I left the service. The signs are too evident to ignore. Even for the skeptics, even for the scientists at the observatory, they've started to become believers. You may deny now, but very soon you will see the need to answer the call. You may have turned your back on the faith, but you cannot avoid your destiny. Tell me, Starcaller, do you have your Ark Staff? I hid it in my staff when I cast aside my oath as a Temple Guardian, and do not call me Starcaller. I will not force you to take up the staff, but I can only hope that there is a shimmer of compassion left in that stone-cold heart of yours. For now, I must depart. May our paths cross once more in this life or the after. Star caller. Um, so as you might have... Well, I don't know if you would have guessed, uh, but this is a game called Star Caller, and I wanted to... I was just trying to do a video on this the other day, but my but my video got corrupted. The audio came through fine, but the video was all messed up, so I'm going through, through it again. Uh, but unfortunately, I already know some of this stuff of what's coming, so I'm, you're not going to catch my, my first reaction to stuff. Now extinguish the flames, and leave thy solitude behind thee, if thou wish to make thy destiny. Uh, so, but, uh, if you picked up what seems to be going on here, is that Averan, if that's her name, is, uh, someone special, well, a previous priestess, I think, was what it was. Um, and she's got special powers or something, because she was a guardian of sorts. And there's some, uh, dark shit going on. And they need her to, uh, come and save the day. Um, and, uh, yeah, so Quakes have some shit to do with it and stuff like that. And I still don't know what's going on. I didn't get that far to find out. But here's my thing. Oh, I should have I read that. Um... Uh, you live a simple life. All all that you own is what you carry. There is not left here but a shelter. Will you remain in reclusion or rise to face the challenge? So that's uh, my shelter. It's my little fireplace. Very humble space. It's one of those quakes. Another quake. They seem to be getting stronger each day. 
Um, and then as you can see, it's kind of like a pixel art 2D RPG. It would not be prudent to traverse. Oh, that's right. Um, the first time I did this, my character automatically, maybe I did, I don't know. But this is where, this tree is where I've hidden my arc staff, which is this thing here. There's your arc staff. The weapon used by the temple guardians of the holy city of Testralon, tucked away in this hollow for safekeeping. All right, we've now equipped the arc staff. Um, and I can collect crystals. Um, and I can upgrade the arc staff with more powerful magic spells. And my first quest is to carry, is, uh, sorry, um, are that, is that the crystals in my staff are weakened from neglect. And so I'm gonna need to charge it at the crystal shrine in the spirit of the wood. The quest is, it's added to my quest log. And I can find your quest log my quest log in the main menu and use a track progress to do that you just right click there's your quest log and here i can review and there it is get me out of here uh all right inside the chest you find a datacron these are ancient artifacts that when used will teach you a magic spell or skill what do i learn i learned star surge if you using the datacron. All right, now it's no longer dangerous to head down this path. We've got our arc staff and we're ready to... Uh, I clicked right through that, didn't I? But uh, it said, said something about uh, Tortosaur, which is what this guy has appeared. Uh, and it's how strange, because Tortosaurs are useful, usually peaceful creatures. So something really must be going crazy uh, for these peaceful guys to be attacking me. But um, I'm gonna have to kill him because uh, such is life. Well, he died quick. Uh, then I have to loot his body. I gather a piece of his shell. Items harvested from creatures can be used to craft armor and other items. Okay, something that I still don't know how to do. And I, I tried to look it up, and I couldn't figure it out. It was crafting. So I'm hoping that... Uh, if, I don't know. I'm hoping that that changes. Okay, let's kill these guys. Little lily flies. Let's give them the old one, two. Almost down in one attack. And as you they do, like, really little damage to me. Oh, man, I missed. You gotta be kidding me. Let's, uh, let's just kill this guy. I probably should have done that to begin with. But... Ah, uh, they do so little damage. Damn. Just cooking through these fools. Let's see what they've got. Uh, insect wing, very good. And this one, more insect wing, very... Doubly good. I don't know what to do with insect wings, but I'm sure it's quite important. Look at these, uh... You've got very nice wiggly bushes. Uh, and then look at this. Uh, clearing in the forest reveals a glorious vista. From here you can catch a glimpse of the test the Testralon skylines. It has been several solar cycles since you have gazed upon its beauty. Look at this. I don't know what this is. It's glowy. It's very glowy. It's very bubbly. Looks like an alien-ish, but then again, I guess... Maybe I'm alien. Maybe we're all aliens. I found a treasure chest. Inside the chest, yeah, the chest, I find a star crystal. These can be used to generate 100% star power instantly. You also find three tonics. These can be used to recover hit points. Sounds very useful. And what do we have here? But this is a save stone. Here I can save my progress. And we're going to uh, put that into save point number one. And let's go up here. All right, this is an ancient storage device. There is a dial on the front of this device. Um, when I originally did this, I was feeling like the safe bet would be to do nothing, but I went ahead and did turn the dial clockwise because I didn't want to do the safe bet, and that opened it. I kind of want to try counterclockwise, but I feel like I shouldn't because I already know how to do it. But then, fresh content. What the heck? Oh, it still opens. Fine. Got a data ground, I guess you open, uh, turn it either way, you open it. 
And I learned dwarf so well. Star. Dwarf. Yes. Oh, I think I've had too much coffee this morning. Um, all right, what is this? It's a glow slug. Let's give him one of these. Uh, let's give him another one of these. Uh, maybe a third one of these. It's really... I would it to, I have the special ability Star Surge, but it's kind of like it doesn't do as good as my regular attack. I'm about to die. So let's use one of these tonics. And just yoink that health to full. He's going to puke on me, but that's no problem. We're going to just give him a smack around and hope he dies. Two health. God damn it, you glow slug. All right, let's, let's take him out. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, come on, Slug, you're killing me. Literally. Uh, and there we go. Let's loot his corpse. We've got a luminous core from the Glow Slug. These are used in crafting portable light sources. Wish I knew how to craft. I feel like they're my... I don't know. I don't know what this gunk does. What is this black sludge on the ground? Hmm, it smells like some type of machine oil. This is quite strange. What use would machines be in a place like this? Well, they're probably trying to cut down the forest. I don't know. It's just my guess. I haven't... Oh, can I go this way? Oh. No, wait, but... Um... That explains a lot. Because this is actually where I got held up last game. Uh... As I didn't know where to go after I got to that chest, I kept looking around. There was a pathway that was like, you need a light source to get through here. And I had the glow the glow thing, but I couldn't craft it into a portable light source, so I had no idea what to do. But now I can go this way, so this must be the answer. A uh, forest spirit. Uh, finally, a good sign. This is like, uh, what is it? Princess Mononoke meets um, Fern Gully. Uh, you should not have come here. Well, thanks. Glad to know um, how you feel. The darkness has taken me. There's not much more time. Ah, shit. The darkness? Not much more time for what? Ah, fuck. He's about to, he's about to do his thing. About to zombify. Stay away. I don't want to hurt. Well, it's too late. Uh, my crystal is weak, but it might be strong enough to repel the spirit from within me. Um, Alright, on this dude, I'm going to try Star Surge. Nah, Dwarf Star. Nah. Um, how much damage is he going to do? Because that's celestial magic. I have none. Um, if he can kill me in one hit, I'm going to be uh, not too happy. Oh, he can't. Um, wait, so these really do nothing? All right, then. I'm just going to hope that these attacks... Oh, my God. Oh, uh, it's probably time to heal. Um, can I, like... Get out of here. I don't like... I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of this fight anymore. He's doing quite a lot of damage. Or he's not doing quite a lot of damage, but he's take, he's got quite a lot of health, which is more the problem. Oh, whatever. I think I can... I've got enough tonics to, to get through this. He turns into... What's that? Pokemon? Ghosty? Oh, Lord. Um, Ghastly. Gastar. Something like that. No, it's not. Nar, uh, Gengar. Gengar? Kind of looks like that. Something. Like that. Um, mm, I feel like this is. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it all to save him because I think. Oh, you've. I even might be able to risk it one more time, but I don't think that's wise. Um, let's heal up. And then let's keep just. I uh, feel like this is all I can do. So that's I'm just gonna keep giving him my standard attack. Uh, I should be able to get him in like one more hit. What the heck is he? I don't know what's going on here. He's like splitting in two. This also reminds me of the bunny from uh, what's that movie? Oh, I leveled up. Uh, sweet. Um, he's happy. Uh, he did it. Your crystal was able to repeal, repel the dark spirit that had a hold over me. You must help us cleanse this forest. Sure. 
The shrine is dim as of late. The energy flows. He is just a ball of energy down there. No patience. Uh, the energy flows up from an ancient cavern inside the deep woods. Uh, the shrine should have at least enough power left to make a light source for you. Well, that was exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, for helping me, I will teach you a magic spell. Which you can do celestial magic. Uh, healing light. Ooh, that's... I like that. I like spells that heal. Um, alright. Let's go get that glow source. Ooh. Going in and out of a lot of trees. I'm like in a tree within a tree. We're in an inception tree. Ah, uh, poor slug. You do so little damage. I do feel bad for killing these guys because they're like... They were pre peaceful. They don't want to fight. Uh, so it's like... Um, yeah, you're just knocking them out. Alright, let's heal up. Let's get this book to full... Wait, what happened? Oh, okay. Um, uh, killing blow. And, yep, that did it. Uh, okay. Give me that light. Give me that luminous thing. Another save point. Let's... Not overwrite, just in case. Um, quest object for charge. The R crystal is marked complete. Wait, so that's it? It's charged? Do I have to even touch it? You inspect the star shrine and find that it is still generating a small amount of power. If that forest spirit was correct, you will need to restore the power in its source in the deep woods. You will need a power source to see in the dark forest, in the caverns, in the deep woods. The shrine is generating enough energy to power the luminous cores you harvested from the glow slugs. I place the two luminous cores in front of the shrine and I use my arc staff as a power conduit. And I've got some glow flashes. Terrific. This light will allow you to enter the dark places. Enter the dark places in my mind. Um, the Star Shrine is used as a crafting station for crafting items that require electrical energy. Crafting systems are currently in development. It's neat. So it's like, I don't know, spirit, kind of nature spirit, and like uh, mixed with technology, which is interesting. And that's also reminding me um, of... Uh, Atlantis, uh, now to find the source of the power failure in the Star Shrine. What horrors lurk in the darkened paths of the deep woods? A quest objective for the darkened forest was marked complete. My god, I'm just powering through these quests. And this is an ancient storage device. There's just one flip switch on this device. <sighs> I'm gonna use a decryptor chick. I don't have one, that's right. Um, well, I'm gonna... Ever the, uh, is it, are they always that easy to open? Uh, two decryptor chips. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm standing on a quick teleporter. Would you like to activate it? No. Um, restoring power to the shrine will most likely extend this bridge. Okay, that's going to be a yes. Where's this gonna take me though? Uh, travel point unlocked. Whoa. I don't know where I wanna go. The deep woods? Oh, wait, this is where I was. But this is where I wanna go, so that's great. Uh, okay, I'm gonna save here, and um, this is where I'm gonna leave it for now. I'm gonna come back to this game uh, and see where it takes me. It's pretty neat. I like RPGs, and this one's definitely catching my interest. Uh, I feel like I've got so much to learn, and um, and it's like kind of feels like uh, well, I mean, it feels like a bunch of different RPGs. But I uh, I really I used to play um, Final Fantasy so much on a what Game Boy Advance back in the day. 
Um, and that's giving me vibes of this. If I can have other party members, that would be even cooler. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. And if you like this, um, and you want to help me bring more cotton like this content. Did I say continent? I don't know what I said. But if you want to help me out, um, feel free to give a like and subscribe. It would help me a lot. Uh, have a good one.